Environmental awareness is a responsibility of all human beings, but in this time and age, some have a lot more responsibility than others. According to the 1987 Brundtland Commission report, Our Common Future, sustainable development is development that meets the needs of the present without compromising the ability of future generations to meet their own needs. One catastrophe that clearly displays that the world we live in is not practicing sustainable development is overpopulation. Overpopulated areas of the world continue to be exploited for their economic values and continue to grow at alarming rates. In Bruce Lurie's video about failed sustainability, he refers to a model mentioned in Our Common Future that focuses on an equal balance between the environment, society, and economy in order to create a sustainable society. Lurie then reevaluates this model and says that our priority must be the environment, for without it, nothing would exist. Then society and the economy fall behind. Overpopulation. We started the 20th century with 1.6 billion people in the world. Right now, we're approximately 7.5 billion. By 2050, estimates put us near 10 billion. Issue, causes and impact. Overpopulation occurs when it exceeds the carrying capacity of the earth. Caused by reduced mortality, better medical conditions, increasing lifespan, and the depletion of precious resources. Poverty and the lack of access to education leads to higher birth rates and overpopulation. The scarce number of resources at hand are used disproportionately and are not enough to sustain the population that needs to consume them. The higher the death rate, the higher the birth rate. Parents would have less children if they knew their child could survive. Comparing developing versus already developed countries, the developing countries are looking at more than doubling their already overpopulated countries when their water supplies, forests, and food crops are diminishing at a rapid rate that will not be able to handle this overwhelming increase in population. The already developed countries are contributing through its high levels of consumption that have to do with the usage of the world's croplands, rangelands, and natural gas dependency. The overall connection between overpopulation and the class is through the third objective of slums in which overpopulation is depleting our resources and causing treason of the state in our societies. More slums are being created with the increase in population in the urban areas, causing the increase of housing costs, making those people move. The treason of state comes from the government allowing the third world countries wealthy to evade and get undertaxed. So the theoretical framework that we decided to focus on was Jared Diamond's framework, which focuses on seven different aspects, the first one being failure to anticipate a problem before it has arrived. So basically, sometimes society has no prior experience to the issue that is arising, so they're not aware and can't fully comprehend the danger of the situation, as well as falling back into old customs and analogies of familiar situations that in reality have no correlation to the current situation. The second one is perceiving or failing to perceive a problem that has actually arrived. This means that the origin of a certain problem is indistinguishable and can't be recognized. The third one is societies often fail even to attempt to solve a problem once it has been perceived. This is actually the most frequent and the most surprising because it's the idea of rational behavior where humans believe that a certain thing will benefit them but it'll affect others in a negative way and although this might be correct reasoning it is morally incorrect the fourth one is disastrous values so focusing on values that are no longer applicable to the current life situation the fifth one is the problems may be beyond the capacity of a society to solve it so the society might lack technology the appropriate knowledge and sources in order to address an issue the sixth one is efforts may be too little or too late which means that the problem is already too large and has so much growth that even a large action plan to address the issue would not be so successful and finally some attempted solutions backfire and make the problem worse and this could be that the method of approach that has been addressed could present a new issue that is also harmful to the society by applying the diamond theoretical framework to societies such as southern california we do not witness the effects firsthand as we are in constant supply of our goods such as water and food. Many people in our society are aware of the problem, however, they fail to find ways to address it and methods to fix it. In developed countries such as SoCal, lack of awareness on overpopulation has become an issue as it is a topic that is not mainly discussed. Due to this issue, we should create and implement a global media campaign that helps citizens gain knowledge on the effects overpopulation has caused to its citizens. Due to efforts being too little and too late, alternative methods should be established. For example, the government can guarantee education for girls since increase in fertility rates are due to lower levels of female education. As different methods are implemented, more consequences tend to contribute to the issue. Therefore, government policies should be established to ensure current and future human needs are met. Examples can be like poverty or access to reproductive health. 
natural resources are being misused, overused, and have already began to deplete in developing countries. The disparity in our use of resources has caused us to create an unsustainable planet. However, we still have time to instill change and make our planet a sustainable place for us and future generations. Implementing programs that educate on safe sex and making birth control accessible would help regulate birth rates. Taking these preventative measures along with establishing government policies that regulate the allocation of our natural resources and making them more available in developing countries would also be a step towards a more sustainable planet.